As previously noted, Stalin demanded that following World War II, the Soviet Union be surrounded by friendly governments. Issues began arising as his Red Army penetrated deeper into Europe while pushing the Nazis back to Germany. As they liberated more and more territory, the horrifying nature of Soviet liberation became more understood, and their partnership with the democratic governments in the West brought more into question. The greatest problem with claiming a high horse against suppression was the expanse of British Empire, and Winston Churchill was just as committed to maintaining his empire as was Stalin to amassing friendly governments. Going all the way back to 1944, Churchill approached Stalin with a mutually beneficial proposal. The concept was a maintenance of spheres of influence. Churchill suggested that the Soviet Union would maintain 90% influence over Romania, 75% influence over Bulgaria, and 50% influence over Hungary and Yugoslavia. The latter two countries would be a joint effort with the British. The British would have 90% influence over Greece, thereby protecting access to their interests in the Near East and Central Asia via the Mediterranean. Churchill suggested that they don't claim to be dividing into spheres because the Americans would be shocked. Problem was, FDR knew about the proposal before it had occurred. After its announcement, he indicated that he was glad the Balkans wouldn't be the cause of another global war. Eventually, in an effort to placate Stalin, Roosevelt would allow all of Eastern Europe to be placed into spheres of influence. This betrayal of democratic principles was not ignored in the United States. One American congressman claimed that we Americans are not sacrificing, fighting, and dying to make permanent and more powerful the communistic government of Russia and to make Joseph Stalin a dictator over the liberated countries of Europe.